Dr. Hawk makes it up. Welcome, welcome. Welcome to the first episode of Dr. Hawk makes it Hawk. This is the love nest. All right, let me introduce the first love birds into the love nest. Uh, senior couple extraordinaire, Sam Wazinski and Jake Cahill. Give them a hand, everybody. Yes. All right, so we're just gonna go over some, a few questions here. So, when did you two become one? Freshman year. Mm. Tell me about it. It was the night of homecoming. Ooh. Asked her homecoming. Oh, <laughs> with her flowers. No. no. I texted her. Yeah. Wow. And so I told him no. He had asked me in a cute way. Then he texted me again. So I said no. Yeah. He texted me again. Oh. Was like, oh. Ladies and gentlemen, very cute. All right. So this one's for Jake. What do you find as the most repulsive thing about Sam? The fact that she agreed to be on the show without telling me. I thought it'd be fun. Are you, you having mind? fun? Yeah. Yeah. It's wonderful. That's what we that's what we come to do here. What is your dream date? Have has that happened? And may I third wheel? You can third wheel. Yes. <laughs> I don't really have a dream date. We went to Costa Rica together, that was awesome. Woo! How was that? Fun. Was it exquisite? Sure. <laughs> and now, I think the big question for both, both of you is you've been together since freshman year, and honestly, why are you still together? I don't know. <laughs> Pretty gross, actually. We're BFFs. Really? Yeah. She makes me a lot of food when I go to her house. <laughs> now, for this next part, I would like Jake to please uh, stand up for a second. Is this about the fanny pack? Jake has taken to wearing, um, wearing a fanny pack everywhere he goes. Sam, how has the fanny pack intruded upon your relationship? It's put a wedge, because I think it looks stupid. And Jake, how do you respond to that? I think she looks stupid. Oh, now we, see. Now we have a real dialogue. Sam told me that you don't, you're not a good listener. <laughs> Can you tell me about that, Jake? Can you tell me about that, too? <laughs> Can you say that out? No. Oh. I don't know that. <laughs> it's getting hot in here. <laughs> oh, I listen. Oh, no. don't. I had to kick you downstairs, and you still didn't listen. When? Say. <laughs> when you were in all this. Okay, because so I was talking about college stuff. It's a little more important than There was a pause. Course. There was a pause. This one. In the conversation. And I said, kick. You said I, I kicked and I said, meet me in the hall by the scene then. I heard you. But did you absorb, Jake? Did you absorb <laughs> or respond? I'm pretty sure I responded. Jake and I, we go back a ways. See, we are we debate together. Sam once told me that um, his ability to debate had really mm -hmm. inserted itself into the relationship. Would you like to talk about that, Sam? It's every conversation that we have. I could say my favorite color is pink, and Jake would turn it into a debate as to why the color pink is awful. Oh, Do you have any cute couple nicknames <laughs> like Schmake or uh, Jam? Jam. Jamantha. We're going to call you Jamantha now. <laughs> you heard it here first, everyone. Meet Jamantha. So, now we're getting down to the real nitty gritty. Do you all have any ex relationships? Yes. Ooh. <laughs> they don't oh. matter. Oh. Like, but were they more attractive than Jake? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm just kidding. And Jake, any, any ex relationships? I mean, you can call what happens in middle school relationships. Exactly. So, Jake, we've, we've been a lot at you, kind of just viciously attacking you. Um, Not viciously. How, how can we get back at Sam here? 
because I don't know as many bad things about Stan as I know as you, about you. So why don't you spill the beans here? Not listening. I mean, there's a certain threshold when you talk about stuff when you, you just can't absorb any more information. So she's just a talker, you're saying? Yeah. All right. Um, so as I am Dr. Hawk, I will prescribe 20 cc's of communication between the two of you. <laughs> Please take this every day. So, to close with, let's talk about some embarrassing couple moments, shall we? What's the most embarrassing thing you've ever witnessed him do? I have one. We went putt putty. Oh, putt putty. <laughs> and this was like when we first started the freshman year. Early on, and we went pump putting to it with and my parents. Uh-huh. And my parents were involved. <laughs> yeah. And my mom kissed my dad, so I was like, oh, Jake, Aww. it's your turn. And then Jake tripped and fell and blushed. Wait, that's nice. No, it wasn't. He got nervous. Jake, do you have any embarrassing moments about Sam? Well, sometimes I'm talking to Sam. I'll just, like, stop and start talking to someone else. She'll just keep walking and talking. So she'll walk down the hallway a solid 20 feet and just talk. See? It comes back to the not listening. <laughs> Alright, so this has been Dr. Hawk Makes It Hawk, and this has been the brave and resilient couple, Jacob Cahill and Samantha Wazinski. It's just Jacob. It's not. You can see my birth certificate. Oh, God, okay. <laughs>